It'd be like Mr. Wilson. We'll just talk over here like this. If anybody's a tool time, anybody a tool time guy or gal? Anybody watch tool time? All right, we'll wait. See if the notifications go out. Do 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 do. Oh, notifications. All you guys remember tool time? Tool time? See, be like Mr. Wilson, talk right here. All right, I guess we're back. We're back. No, Snorlord, if he comes in here. So, Thor, what's up, Pale Rider? Dude, so we're gonna we're gonna give the reins over to Snorlord. We're gonna let him be the captain of the ship. I'm gonna take a few days off. Right, we back. I'm gonna take a few days off. Let's. I'm gonna call Snorlord and, and just spring it on him tomorrow. Right. It's like boom, Snorlord. Guess what? You're now the captain of the ship. <clears throat> we're gonna give him the 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 wheel see what happens uh so if it'll do it if not i'll go down the list uh see if anybody wants to do that you know basically it's a retreat phone because i'm still gonna be doing all the back office stuff right doing all the back office stuff but for just helping guys out you know things like that see if snorlord wants to you know take that on or not if not I'll just keep doing it. Thor will do it. Right, Thor? You'll take over. Thor will do it. Shoot, yeah. Thor's ready. He's ready. All right, Clyde. I know Clyde could do it. Transfer the calls to Clyde. Boom. He'd be all over it. What's up, Spooby? So, my buddy Steve, Steve Starr, agent, my broker agent, VP of the Southern Region, when we start getting it up and running really well, um, he stopped by two, a couple days ago. Saturday. Said, that was Friday. He stopped by Friday. He says, hey, here to talk shop. I said, okay, we'll talk shop Why we work. He said, work? I said, yeah. I got to put the tow hooks. I got to take the tow hooks off this Silverado. See, the Dodge was way easier, folks. The Dodge, take a couple bolts off, pull the hooks out, put this new stuff in, boom. Put those other hooks in, bam, you're done like that. Chevy, not so easy. Had to get to the old tow, I had to get to the original, you know, OEM tow hooks, get those out so I could put RV hooks in. Had to take the grill off. No, James, I'm going up to Mackinac area where highs 70, lows 60, you know, high 50s, 60 at night. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying, James? Highs only in the 70s during the day. Right? You, you got me, and I'll be right on Lake Huron, right, in Michigan. You know, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, the breeze from the, from the big lake. So... Yes, Snorlord's it. Yeah, Snorlord. We'll see if Snorlord will take the wheel. Give him the wheel. Let him answer. Let him let him answer these guys' calls. But anyway, if he'll do it, if not, you know, I can bribe other Chucker James. Best to do it. Um. So so Steve, our agent for Rig Runner Logistics in the Southern Region, he comes up, and I had my buddy from down the road. He came down, so we had to tear the whole front of this truck apart, man. We had to take the the grill out we had to take the louvers out for the for the uh turbo and all that you know for the air cooler had to take all that that box out had to remove that remove the bumper everything it was all stripped down parts all over the yard just to put two hooks in put it all back together so we did it Right, we did it. And uh, then my buddy come over last night, late last night, 
and we hooked up the tow bar and everything and we towed this thing see we had to put these in these right here and these are removable you just pull the pin and they come out and then I put the the plug right here to plug into the back of the tray or the motor home so yeah Fords don't need hooks so then we got this all set we just got to pack it we were gonna pack it today but I was too busy yeah so here's what I'm gonna do James check it out I'm gonna tow this truck right here behind this right there and I said, you know what, if I'm going to do that, because we're going to take the bike, so we're going to do some exercise. We're going to do some bikes. And I said, you know what? you got to take the golf cart, right, James? I mean, if you're going to pull a pickup, you might as well put that in the back of it. You might as well use, use the bed space. Put that in the back. Put all this behind this right here. And you got everything with you, right? I should. I should pull that trailer with the bike that's what he's talking about i should put that trailer on the back of this towing behind that because i could tow it all because cdla right michigan you can do a couple things there if i really want to right yeah we're flat towing spooby we're gonna flat tow it um it's got a when i bought it i made sure that diesel that diesel had a two Two Gary transfer case. Um, and of course, we got the bikes back here, James. And you know what? One guy had to modify this, move it closer to the motorhome. I'm going to see if I can hit the front of the pickup truck when I turn the corners. If I do, that's trucker style, right? Little scratches don't hurt nothing, little rubbins racing, that kind of thing. You know, just adds character, right? Oh, shoot, just dented the hood. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Go for a few days, check it out, and, uh, and you know, and all the guys told me I need to take a break. Uh, Moon Flea says, yeah, you need a break, dude, you need a break. And uh, so did Jason, uh, Little Mac, right? Hey, let's all, let's all say, say some prayers on this. This is serious. And I, I don't know if he's watching, but one of our ICs, his son got in a golf cart accident and fractured his skull. Or he's in, in he's in the hospital intensive care. I believe that's where he's at. Um, they got to do some scans and stuff. Less swelling of the brain um, in Indiana. So we'll pray for him. And, but see, there's there's a rainbow. Is that a rainbow? No, just jet trail. They must be putting down some more virus on us. Uh, so let's pray for him that his son comes through this. But here's the, here's the, this really pisses me off. People are taking this way too far. These hospitals that aren't even full of COVID-19, right? Not even full. Are only going to allow one parent visitation rights at a time in the hospital so one has to leave the hospital the other one can come in that is bs that that's just so stupid so we're gonna you know pray that uh, his son has a full recovery uh what else is going on like i said i work i work steve not snorlord but the other steve our, you know, my agent has helped me get the brokers going. Uh, worked him, tearing this truck apart, putting that stuff on. And I think even Snorlet said I needed a break. But we're going to take a break. Figure, go camping. Can't do nothing else. And then, you know, half the stuff ain't open anyway. But go camping and, uh, you know, come back at, at the end of the week and keep on getting it. Made a few phone calls, right? Had some people click on um, consultations and things like that. Uh, you know, I, I told the lady, she's out of Florida. She got her authority and all that, talking to her. And I said, uh, she says, oh, I don't have a whole lot to ask you right now because I, you know, she was eating dinner. 
in a restaurant. I says, <clears throat> that's not how I operate. I said, look, we'll talk about whatever I want to talk about right now. So we talked about, you know, whether to factor, not to factor, things like that. Um, don't tell me, Snorlord, tell yourself. Um, you're, 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 I'm not in charge. You're in charge, Mario. You tell yourself. Uh, so, you know, we, we done all that. And then she went over APUs, Thermal King. Thought, you know, got a price pass. Says, hey, check in the carrier because personally, I like carrier better. They do have a few, you know, points that need to be ironed out, but so does Thermal King. But I like the carrier better just for the fact that you have a real generator giving you power, not some 1800 watt stupid inverter. So she's going to look into that. And I said, then for the next week, write down everything you want to know. Send me, I talked to her about an hour or all this. I said, I said, don't click on the button, don't pay nothing. I just put that in there, and, and all you guys will, will agree. All right, other trucker Jane's best. I know he probably gets some phone calls and stuff, but I get so many people emailing me and everything, and I got to run this company and I got a brokers going. I don't have time to just sit on the phone and talk to people that really aren't serious about trucking. So I know when they click the button, they're serious about trucking. So I told her, don't click on the button again. Whenever you need something, just email me or text me because you got my number now and I'll text you back a time that I can talk to you and we can just go on and then, so that's how I do it. That way I know they're serious and just not want to talk, you know, whatever. Yeah, you got to read out the tire kickers, right? So gave her a lot of a lot of really good pointers that um is going to help her out and she's thinking about you know maybe in a few years expanding and all that and she's thinking about you know using her own money to run the business and you really know how much that is you know what you're really going to need if you get up to five ten fifteen drivers you're going to hire somebody that money right there could pay a factoring company which has 40 50 or 100 or whoever knows how many employees that's your uh collections department your basically payroll department right when they when they pay on time and uh your billing department it's all that pretty much wrapped into one um plus you know if you're at the right ones you get fuel cards and things like that and so forth and so forth so we had all that good stuff to talk about so what's shaking snow oh two broke tim what's up baby what's up i drive a volvo check engine lights all the way down just ignore it see I remember meeting up with two broke Tim. You used to be car hauler, Tim. Tell me if I'm right, Air Force. Air Force, Tim. Um, Jacksonville, Florida. The Loves. You were parked on the far side. And you went in and got a couple candy bars. Was that right for, you know, what? how long ago was that? Shoot, I don't, I don't remember how long ago. Four years, five, six, I, I don't remember. You know, the check the lens, and it'll cost you two knocks and a BPV, six, five, five. Well, I did get a call on my truck. I'm just going to leave it at the dealer. I told him I'll be back in a week to get it. He's okay. And it's all under warranty. Yeah, he pled guilty because he knows he, he ate two candy bars. I ain't saying nothing. Your secret's good with me, Tim. Two candy bars, no problem. Um, we'll call him Two Candy Bar Tim. So, just kidding, man. <laughs> so, we, uh, it was the, uh, it wasn't a sensor at all. It gave a Knox. It gave a Knox one sensor, uh, thing with the DEF. They said the tank DEF sensor's probably bad. It wasn't none of that. It was a wiring harness. A wiring harness. Who knows? Mice, chipmunks, raccoons might ate the wire. I don't know. The harness, I don't know. Zero. I owe zero. All warranty. That two-year, 200,000-mile system, confidence three with all that stuff that they give you, international. Zero. Didn't have to pay a dime. Boom. Just going to go pick it up. So anyway, who knows how much those harnesses are? I don't know. Baseball opening night game. San Francisco Giants versus Dodgers. Yes, Thursday night. Squirrels love yard armors. Yes, they do. It might have been a squirrel. But I had to get a raccoon out of here not too long ago, right, Snow Lord? 
We're playing two anthems too. There you go. So there we go. We're going to cut this short. Yeah. Oh my God. Really? Yeah. John. Really? Uh, you see it's getting dark out. I'm going to load this maybe. If not, do it first thing in the morning. Hook the pickup up and roll. So, Snorlord, this is how efficient you're going to be. You will have payroll done before 10 a.m., right? You, you will do it. I have faith in you. You will do it. Actually, I might go do payroll now for all the loads delivered Friday. I might just go do it now, get it over with. You know what I'm saying? He says, um, okay. Want to go swimming? James, our pool, it's rained so much, dude. Our pool is overflowing. It's ready to, it's ready to crest the banks. The outer banks. And the boss better get out here. She better get out here and get this thing. She better get this thing ready to roll. It's not even, it's not even unpacked from storage. From winter storage. You know what I'm saying? Look, check it out. Come in here. Do, 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 do. Hit a master light switch. Come in here. And this is what she does, right? See, puts them in these bags. So when you open them up, poof. So she's got all the bedding in here. We gotta we gotta get all that done. We gotta put all that in there, right? And, uh, you know, so we opened it up, had to get it, get it done. Let's see if the fridge is cooling off yet. Oh yeah, she's cold. She's cold. Uh, it's not hot here. We're ready to roll though. Uh, everything looks good. It got all the antifreeze out of the lines. Uh, I only had one leak. That was, uh. The refrigerator ice maker. Bugatti the trucker. What's up, Bugatti? So, I just had to put a new line in that. But, you know, we really don't need that to go. So, I'll do that later. Rooster Run Express, what's up? Yeah, it's not up. Well, you know, it's hot here. I mean, it was it's boiling. But we're going to go further north. So, it's only going to be like in the 70s and then... 60 or in high 50s low 60s at night so it'll be perfect probably won't even have to run the air conditioning or nothing but we'll see now we're not gonna be under, under a heat bloom up there because we're gonna be right on the right on the lake yeah we'll come to the armpit of the south so door did did the boss get her stuff done because she she made you get you know you had to get there right get her home get that stuff done did she get it done? And I want to know, I want to know another thing, Thor. Did she make, did she make your uh, emblems? And did you tear off the passenger side trailer number? I bet you, you tore off the passenger side trailer number. I'd probably bet $20 bill on it. You took it off, right? 20 bucks says you took it off. I bet you took it off. I bet you. I'll wait for I'll wait for an answer. Do, 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 do. I'll wait for an answer. I'm not even looking at the screen though. So the answer might come later. All right, we're, we're going in here. No, I left it. Looks fine unless you're up close. Um, well, yeah, get some adhesive and put it on there for now, right? Put some adhesive on there for now. That'll fix it for now. Um, I'll tell you what, Thor. See, this is why you come to like trucking. This is why. I told you, I bet you 20 bucks. Did I not? Mike, I didn't forget, Mike. 
Don't you worry, Mike, YW71. All the guys know if I say something, it's going to get done. So, one better than that. Here's one better than that. Thor, I'm not going to, you know, you know the trailer deal. I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you one day. Boom. Free. Right? Free. What do you think of that, Thor? Is that a good deal? Would you rather have 20 bucks or one uh, one day no charge? Your pick. 20 bucks, one day no no charge. Either say 20 or no. 20 or no. Do, 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 do. You got to pick one. This isn't a... You could say no, no, no. You, you, that's not going to work. You got to pick one. It's either 20 or no charge for one day. Your pick. Other Trucker James Best knows which one to pick. He's already he's already he's already put it down there. Do 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 do. So he's getting you know he's getting more. So which one? You got to pick one. Good, no charge. There you go. See, hard bargain, hard bargain. Just remind me that you know. Just kidding. <clears throat> I, what I'll do is I'll put, I'll put the date, and I'll put no charge. That way you know it's there, right? That way you know. And you have proof in case you meet up with somebody out there that doesn't like me, doesn't like this channel, doesn't like what we're doing to try to better the trucking uh, world out there, right? Um, trying to get a bunch of guys, be, you know, with carriers, get... Right, James? Get brokerages, try to find freight, get our own freight, and then help the other carriers out when they get in the area, pass along the uh, great rates, and just help each other out and cut out the middle guy. That's what it's all about. Cool, Don. Heavy haul. That, that's, you'll like that. We are, we're over 10, I'll just tell you that. We're over 10. I'm not gonna tell you exactly how many because, you know, I got some, probably one or two more coming. Um, I got a bunch of applications to go through. Like I said, we'll probably put on two, three, maybe four more, not sure. Uh, so get your applications in, if not, and we will uh, go through them all. What's up, Stacy Jeffrey? School's in session, baby. Where you been? Where you been? I ain't seen Bugatti in like light years. You know, seven years on YouTube or so, eight years, I forget how long. I haven't seen him until, since way back. Uh, 10 more, yes, Snorlord's bucking for 10 more. Snorlord, next year, my friend. Ding, ding, ding. Snorlord, no, see, since you haven't been in a while, Bugatti, Snorlord starts tomorrow. Actually, he started today. He's the safety director at Light Trucking, along with being a contractor. Um, so, he's taking that role. I came up with a constructive pay schedule. We're not going to say what it is. Snorlord probably told other Trucker James best because, you know, they talk. But as the company grows, so will Snorlord's position grow. And the money will grow. What's up, Eddie? What's going on? <clears throat> so, Eddie, we're going camping, dude. We're firing at the motorhome. You've seen it. Uh... We're towing the pickup out there, up there with the bikes and all that stuff, right? <clears throat> and it is a lucrative pay structure, right, James? Uh, we get this company in a couple of years to, let's say, 30 or 40 or 50 or who knows how many. Um, Snorlord is going to be sitting pretty nice. And then when we get to that many, we'll put another one of the ICs in a spot. And that's how we do it. We're only hiring from within. So it's a 100% owner-operator company ran by 100% owner-operators. That's what it's all about. So there you go. We'll see y'all later. I got to go in. I got things to do. I got to get ready for uh, to go camping. They said I needed a break. I'm going to take a break. I'll still be working, though.
Eddie, you at Margaritaville. Eddie's always to go somewhere. Am I still driving? Um, I got a really good lawn ornament, and I just took it in and got a new wiring harness put on it. So I can drive if I want to drive, but I'm too busy taking care of the trucking company and trying to get the brokers up and running uh, and doing things like that. So it is what it is. You're waiting on an appetizer, uh, watching the wife drink a margarita. Well, have her drink two or three, right? Drink two or three. And I'm going to be driving the Tesla. Since you haven't been here at Bugatti in a long time, John Armstrong bought me a Tesla S. <clears throat> he says, you know what? Uh, like your channel, getting into trucking. He bought me a Tesla S, delivered it to my house. What, what was it, John, about uh, three months ago? About three months ago. Great car, Model S, yeah, exactly. Yep. The best. Model S, baby. Perfect color, too. Matches that pickup truck. How did he know? How did he know? Awesome. Yep. Eddie, well, we'll go on a trip with you. Because, you know, we can, we can go where you go. We can stay in the, uh, you know, I haven't re-upped that membership. I probably should. I mean, they're still asking if I want to because it expired. I mean, I had the thing for like 20-something years. I should do that because we can just stay at the same place as you are, right? Um, see, Eddie Eddie does the condo stuff, which that's what I did for years and years and years. <clears throat> now we're doing this. Uh, but we can go back and do condo stuff and hang out with Eddie, no problem. How about how about next next spring or summer, Eddie? You pick pick a place or something. Get your kids and family and get my wife and grandkids and all that and we'll go out and you know we'll have a good time right all right 30 minutes we're out of here we got things to do um you know hey we'll see you snow lord be ready tons of phone calls coming your way just kidding good to see you uh what's up tactical trading penny stocks hey i love penny stocks um Serious Radio is kind of like a dead horse. I was playing that for a while, and then it just got stuck in the mud. It's, it, it done that to me 15, 20 years ago. It just got stuck in the mud. But, you know, if you if you play puts and calls back and forth, you know, you can weather the storm, right? So maybe maybe we'll put a little bit on forward. Uh, maybe we'll play a little Landstar, maybe. Uh, maybe a little Schneider or JB. Pick one of those trucking companies. Do something with those. And, uh... You know, pick a pharmaceutical. You like Forex? Yeah, Forex is cool, Alan. <clears throat> so, I just do options trading now. I don't I don't buy the stock. I just option trade. And either they run out or you, you get out and blah, 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 blah. You all know the deal. <clears throat> Juan, what's up, buddy? All right. We'll see you all later. Money moves. CVS. Believe Stacy Jeffries when he says something's on the move, it's on the move. School's out of 